Let's rank every Valorant agent from worst to best in ranked for episode 9 in my opinion. In last place, I'm going to be putting Astra. I find the current ranked meta to be very reactionary and I just don't think Astra fits very well into this meta. Controllers like Clove, Omen, and Viper are doing a way better job currently and on top of that, Astra's best map Pearl isn't in the current map rotation. Astra also heavily relies on teamwork and we all know that that isn't a common occurrence in ranked. In 23rd place, I chose KO. The main reason you would want to play KO right now is to counter the Cypher meta, but it makes a lot more sense to just play Raze or Sova instead to counter Cypher since he can play offsite to avoid KO's utility. He also has the second lowest win rate in almost every region, which I think is due to the right click of his flash being nerfed, which makes it a lot harder to make solo plays with KO. And if you're one of the many people who can't afford Valorant skins, you need to check out Free Cash. And I actually personally earned all of these gift cards by using Free Cash for myself. And some of my viewers have earned hundreds of dollars using Free Cash. If you're interested, there is a ton of different ways for you to earn Valorant gift cards by doing things like playing the Monopoly Go task. For this task, all you have to do is reach board 125 in 40 days and you'll make $242. Or if you want something quicker, you could do this Opera GX task where all you have to do is download Opera GX and just like that, you'll make $3. I currently have $153 in my free cash balance and on average, it only takes users 17 minutes to make enough for their first withdrawal. Once you've earned enough on free cash to withdraw, just select Valorant and pick the price of gift card that you want and it'll instantly show up on your screen. After that, hop on Valorant and go to the prepaid code section and redeem it. And just like that, you can get yourself some free skins. If you want to try free cash today, join now from the link in the description or pinned comment for a chance to open a gift box worth up to $250. Now let's get right back to the video. In 22nd place, we have Harbor. You might be thinking, why is Harbor above Astra? I think he's actually playable on the new map Abyss. With his wall being so dynamic, he can fit it around the crazy angles Abyss has and secure safe plants with his smoke. I don't think he's going to be in the meta by any means, but at this current point in time, I think he's more useful than Astra. In 21st place, I think Sage is one of the worst agents in the game at the moment. Ever since her heal was nerfed to not heal you as much as it does your teammates, she's been especially bad. We're also in the current Killjoy and Cypher meta, so it's hard to justify playing her over either of them in most situations. I really don't know who picks this agent anymore besides Grim or the E-Daters. In 20th place, we got Brimstone. He has the longest lasting smokes in the game and a really solid Molotov to stop enemy pushes or to use in post plants over Overall, he's a solid agent, but the release of Clove really hurt Brimstone's value and rank. In 19th place, we have Breach, and honestly, I think Breach is a really good agent for team play, but when it comes to rank, it's really hard to get your team to play off your utility at times, so he's punished in a similar way to Astra. If your team's really trying hard, then he's great, but if nobody's calming and baiting, he's going to be really hard to get value out of his kit. I also think he's good on the new map Abyss, but it's still kind of early to tell. In 18th place, we have Fade. I don't think Fade is in the worst spot right now, I just think that the current Cypher meta for forces you to play Sova over her most of the time for his shock darts, which pushes Fade's value down quite a bit since Sova is just so much stronger, but she's still a solid option for initiator. In 17th place, I chose Chamber. He's still a pretty good solo carry agent with his built-in sheriff and operator, his teleport allowing him to take aggressive fights across all of the map for free, but it does almost feel like a waste to play Chamber right now due to how strong Killjoy and Cypher are. In 16th place, we have Phoenix. He's an overall decent duelist, but his ultimate is definitely the best part of his Kit. With it only taking six orbs, you can use it multiple times in a single half. The rest of his abilities are pretty basic and easy to counter, so I don't see why you'd pick him over any other duelist currently. His simple kit makes him pretty effective in low elo though. In 15th place, I chose Omen. He's the best smoked agent on Ascent without question due to his paranoia getting a crazy amount of value on the map, but right now he's just kind of a middle of the pack smoked agent in rank. I think just a few months ago, I probably would have called him the best though. He is pretty fun to play though if you want to go for flex ninja outplays. In 14th place, we got Deadlock. Maybe a year ago, this agent would have been listed as the worst in the game. But ever since her wall, sensors, and grenade got buffed, she's actually made a pretty good resurgence. I even saw John Cutie from Sentinels playing her in pro play not too long ago. Deadlock has some of the highest win rates on nearly every map in Immortal and Radiant currently, so she's doing pretty well right now. In 13th place, we got Sky. She's received quite a few nerfs lately, including her flashes no longer regenerating after use, not being able to move your camera while leaping with the dog, and a bunch of other 
other nerfs over time that's all catching up to her now in my opinion. She still played almost every game on Bind though. In 12th place, I chose Reyna. With the recent Duelist updates, I think she's now the second best solo carry option after ISO. Her flashes didn't receive any update, so she isn't much more useful in team play after the update. Overall, I think she's got the short end of the stick out of all the Duelists in the update. I don't think the toxic Instalog Reynas are going anywhere though. In 11th place, I chose Viper. She's irreplaceable on Icebox, which is why she made it so high onto the list. And if Breeze was still in the pool, she'd probably be even higher. Double controller teams using Viper are still really strong, but her recent nerfs of not being able to pick up her smoke after placing it, fuel not lasting as long, and only having one molly instead of two, it's pretty clear to see why she's getting 11 on this list. Her kit will always be good though. In 10th place, we have Raze, an agent I would have called the best duelist just a few months ago has fallen pretty far from Grace since the recent duelist update, which saw her satchel movement nerf pretty badly. And on top of that, she's been getting nerfs for a while, kind of like Sky. the nerfs have been building up over time, and it finally feels like she got punished a little bit too hard. Raze is one of the best agents in the game still though, especially for countering Cypher's trips. In 9th place, we got Sober. He's currently the best info gathering agent in the game, especially after the recent nerfs to Sky, and he's also a hard counter to the Cypher meta with his shock dart, so him being ranked so highly just makes sense. He's also a must pick agent on maps like Icebox, Ascent, and Haven. Sober and Raze are played a lot more than they probably should be currently due to how good Cypher's trips currently are. In 8th place, we have Gecko. He's a must pick agent on Sunset and Lotus currently and can be played on nearly every map outside of that. He's really strong since you can pick up Dizzy infinitely and just keep getting info out of that ability repeatedly or use it to clear multiple angles back to back. He also has the best ultimate for taking a site in the game currently. In 7th place, I think Killjoy is the second best Sentinel. Her diversity of setups combined with probably the best ultimate in the game all makes her an all around great agent. Also having an agent that can hold flanks efficiently like Killjoy is very strong. Not having to worry about the flank allows your team to full commit to sites and rotate without much worry. In 6th place, I've picked ISO. If this was a couple weeks ago, I'd say he was the best agent in the game, but he's definitely the best solo carry agent still. His double tap recently got nerfed from lasting 20 seconds to only 12 seconds and not regenerating after 2 kills. I think he's a lot more in line with the rest of the duelists now, although I still don't like the fact that he can just tank a bullet for free, but it is a bit more bearable. In 5th place, we got Yoru. This agent has a very high skill ceiling and creators like Ziptie or Eggster make him look incredible. Yoru is really good in the right hands. Also, I'm pretty sure Eggster managed to get two accounts in the top 10 by just playing Yoru. His kit is extremely strong nowadays after the amount of buffs he's received over time. In fourth place, we got Jet, and I mean, she's just the ultimate ranked duelist. Her ultimate helps her keep her economy strong. Her dash is a get out of jail free card. You can play off angles using her updraft and smoke yourself out of sticky situations. Also, using the op in rank is incredibly strong. Since most people in ranked aren't very coordinated, up crutching on Jet is one of the best ways to rank up in Valor. To start off with the top three, we got Neon. I think she received the best buffs during the Duelist rebalancing. Her fuel regen got reduced from 60 seconds to only 20 seconds. No longer has a movement restriction while strafing, has two slide charges, and she has no weapon movement and accuracy while sliding, which makes shotguns incredibly strong while using her. She did get her stun charges reduced from two to one, but the singular stun is a lot better than the one before. Overall, I think in time, she could jump up this list a lot. And coming in at number two, we have Cypher. Ever since his tripwires got reworked to regenerate and have longer range, there's been a number of one-way tripwires you can't break without using any utility, which has forced the meta of picking Raze or Sova just to counter this one agent. I personally think it's pretty boring having to counterpick Cypher just because he is so strong. He's able to cut off entire parts of maps if you don't have certain agents to counter him, but overall, he's definitely one of the best agents to play in rank so far. And finally, at number one, we have Clove. Clove has been an instant success in rank since they were added. They have seen little to no play in pro play, but they have the highest win rate in every rank across every region currently. It kind of makes sense when you look at their kit. You can smoke after death, they have a massive decay orb for enemy pushes, and they can heal after they kill an enemy. On top of that, their ultimate just gives you an extra life. It's a pretty crazy kit for ranked all around. Here's a look at the completed tier list. Let me know if you agree, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe.